next, we talk about you know arm movement from prepare. Uh, we need is a tidy chance prepare movement, which is when we do this movement, you have to coordinate principles at that time. Okay, not when you are started. So when you stand here, which is head up, spirit up, and extend the feeling, relax the feeling, you have to feel start from this movement. And I saw some people, your palm shape is uh, too much close. Uh, in Yang style, we ask you, uh, fingers, you need a bend slightly. And between your fingers, there is a sliding space. And the thumb is different, which is tiger mouse, you need to open it. Open tiger mouse. So, uh, at the beginning, you always don't know how to do the palm, but uh, you know, you just uh, sitting there, look at your palm shape, and feel comfortable, feel natural, you know, uh, gradually, gradually, you can be used to it. Okay, so remember, don't close your fingers. There is a slight space, and don't go too straight. There is some bend, but I don't want you to lean too much. I want you to feel inside how extend the feeling. Okay, and the extended feeling, not on your palm, arm, chest, head, relax waist, uh, from your body, everywhere you feel being connected, uh, open. That's the feeling of the relax. Opening from here, uh, I want you rotating arms and the lifting arms, a little bit of connect. Try not divide too clear. Okay, so connect together, lifting up and pushing down. And when you are lifting up, I also want you to pay attention for what? Uh, one is, uh, you know, some people I think after you open, either you go too close, sometimes maybe too wide. So how wide, how close we're supposed to be? I want you to use outside of your palm edge, match with outside of your shoulder. That's shoulder width, what you should do. So later, when you are from press, open it, that's the shoulder width part, not like this. And sitting back, sitting palms, not in here. Shoulder width part space, and from here, you push it out. Okay, so clear. If we talk about shoulder width parts, generally you talk about outside shoulder, outside palm, outside foot edge, that's the shoulder width part space. Okay, and from here, you rotate arms, lift up your arms. I want you to feel natural enough, uh, don't feel too stiff, which is arms from Go up to pushing down like water wave pushing down. And don't do it feel too local by any part. So feel everything is one thing. One thing move together. They are connected with each other. Okay? And always push you know to front of your body, not exactly back, front of the body. Okay, and uh, next from here, word of left, for work we've been talking about. So here, first, you just remember, each time your toe direction open, close, we want you to use waist, which is not open your toe. Open toe, it's a follow, waist, turning open. So you need to start getting used to it, Every movement you move, it's a leading by the waist. Waist is a controlling for the movements, everything. So you need to sink, connect with your waist. Okay? And the forward body turning, open right toe, and the left arm, right arm, separate the forward back. Next, I need you to pay attention about the left arm. When you start sitting down, left arm round the shape. And how you can round the shape? Don't just bend your arm, uh, bend your you know, wrist. And I need your whole arm around, which is armpit open. 
and check your palm direction without facing side, facing yourself. And the right arm back circle, keep elbow position down. Right to left, left to right, arms closed, stop. Here, don't bend in too much, open enough. Because here you have the meeting by catch your opponent's meeting. So you don't want too close at this time. And from here, forward back open, I would like you pass from forearm center because forearm is where you're going to touch your palm, not in here, not in the palm. So forearm center is place you need to pass your right arm. And ending posture, check your left arm. Uh, often we can see some people uh, too much rounded. So this you will give me is pressing your opponent out. I would like you lifting up, maybe enough. Push down, maybe enough. And hip direction, open enough. Knee don't twist in. Knee toe in enough. And looking direction, follow left arm direction, head up, looking forward. This time your right side hip need dropping down to keep your spine straight. This time, don't lean. Center. Okay, so this is about word of left. Word of right. From here. Uh, the first thing is our left arm. Uh, our left arm showing grabbing is not enough. So move back weight. Remember, still leads by, left, uh, by the waist. Turn left or in. And when you turn back to waist, Turning, rotating arm, showing, grab you. So some people, I think, when you rotate, you close in. I want you open to show the grab. Right arm also rounded, armpit open. Then from here, right to left, left to right, arms close, foot touching ground. And then move forward weight, ward off right. Ending posture, I want your shoulder match, shoulder level, you use the shoulder, wrist match in one level. Some people, I think your palm lean down. So, one curve. And also, I want you to feel your chi sink. No stiffness here, but inside you need to feel extend. And the left armpit open, and extended will make you feel what? Outside looks soft, but the inside feel like still. Okay, you don't want outside soft, inside soft, then totally soft. Then you don't have the yin yang balance. Outside, one side you look soft, the other side you need to feel energy, stillness. Okay, means like still. Yeah, don't feel totally limped to be balanced yourself. Okay, and if you're outside hard, then inside you don't feel very much. Okay, so we want your outside to be soft. Inside, feel uh, energy, feel extended. And here, word of left, word of right is different. Uh, why is it different? Uh, technical, it is the same. Uh, which is one we include the lifting up, one we include the push, one we include the lifting up, one is push, but the difference from where? From the position between you and your opponent. So when we do the word of left, we are more thinking your side of your opponent. Okay, for example, okay, come here. Uh, how we imagination with your opponent? We imagination on word of left is my opponent's right arm come to my middle body. So here, I'm catch my opponent and my position is basically the side of my opponent and what is the word of doing actually left is lifting up on the word of you cannot use it as an application you need to combine with the other one we call push so which is one we show you push one we show you lift up try to you know to control your opponent's arm that's the word of but what's different from the word of right? When my opponent coming to me, okay, same thing. So here, I'm, see the position? I'm more front of my opponent. 
Before I was side, now I'm front. So the energy basically students lift up, push. This is the energy. But uh, the position, how you do it, it's different. Why we call left word up? Because left arm lifting. Why we call right word up? Because right arm lifting. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is about the uh, word of left.